This is myself. Look, a gifting club. Uh huh. A type of pyramid scheme or Ponzi scheme. <laughs> in which recruits make gifts of money to the other members with the expectation mm -hmm, that future recruits will make gifts to the present recruits. Ah, oh, oh. <laughs> many gifting clubs limit membership to women's. <laughs> Club leaders usually try to evade income tax laws by claiming that the money paid in by <laughs> a recruit is a tax-free gift. Yes. Oh. To a club member and warning of other warning new recruits not to expect gifts. Yes. In the future, some states forbid gifting clubs as illegal pyramid schemes. Oh, an illegal pyramid scheme <laughs> where it's you got paid for a show and it's a gift that you receive twenty thousand dollars and the next show you pay for to another recruited member of the family. Oh. Now, let's say that you got sued for a little gifting club, a pyramid scheme, or a Ponzi scheme, in which the police and sheriff's department's right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Now, this illegal pyramid scheme, <laughs> why don't we go through the states that say these clubs are illegal lotteries, <laughs> a gifting search, <laughs> a sisterhood, poo, a birthday club, see Ponzi scheme, oh, <laughs> now, give me the actual gift tax from the Internal Revenue Service, yes, of every individual that got paid <laughs> over the last seven and a half years that my sons have been in the wrong grades, Queen Washington. Mm. Now, looks like police and sheriff departments are supporting a Ponzi scheme where I was the target of the so suffering shows right now. Oh, I think, oh my gosh, that's a loud one. <laughs> You're participating as a family. Good for you. Good for you. <laughs> now, I'm going to want to kind of squash this whole pyramid scheme of refusing to enforce the laws of the United States. <laughs> And then I'm going to want to know the gift tax. <laughs> now, my thought was, yes, let's say you're an attractive woman. This is the letter D. It's an encyclopedia. Oh, <laughs> today is Zachary's birthday, and I thought we'd look at diamonds. Ouch, look, at, there's a dog right there. <laughs> Dinosaur. <laughs> a diamond. Ouch. Half carrot, one carrot, one and a half carrot, two carrots, three. You, you know, I am a really huge, um, well, believer in diamonds. You know, forever. What's a girl's best friend? <laughs> now, there are some famous diamonds. Yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, the 530 carat Collinian one or star of Africa. Then uh, the red net diamond was known as the Pitt diamond. Yes. The Hope diamond became a property of the Smithsonian Institute. Oh, <laughs> let's say I found you attractive and I decided to give you <laughs> X number of carats of diamonds that are valued at two to three hundred thousand dollars because I wanted you to look good. I would be liable for the gift tax of that kind of a gift. Oh. Oh, oh, it's the actual retail value of the gift that you have to pay gift tax on. Now, I realize that and I accept it as um, an obligation to pay the taxes on every gift I give. <laughs> Now, in 1954, General Electric Research Laboratory, yes, they invented the first synthetic diamond. Now, researchers have found that adding small amounts of the chemical element boron to synthetic diamonds turns them into semiconductors. Oh, is that right? Semiconductors are materials with special electrical properties. You know who I was thinking of this morning? 007, James Bond. <laughs> I have seen most all of the actual James Bond films, and he happened to be an English uh, top secret agent. <laughs> Yesterday, I thought the Queen was using a little platinum in some sort of satellite technology. Yes.
Well, there was this one James Bond where they made a satellite out of diamonds. No, they did. You know, those top secret agents and how they like to work with different types of synthetic materials. <laughs> now, I never realized that a diamond could be used as a semiconductor. Oh, oh. <clears throat> could you call the queen? Because I thought 007 as an English uh, top secret agent that the queen oftentimes would make movies called James Bond. Yes, of her actual involvement in the use of technology. <laughs> Yesterday, I was a little upset at the queen right now. Pooch, I know that. <laughs> now, could you get me the synthetic diamonds that are used as semiconductors? And <laughs> I'd like to know what diamonds are in satellites that might involve platinum. <laughs> I'm a big fan of light. And 